My name is Brendan Donnelly and I'm an artist based out of Los Angeles and um, currently in Brooklyn, New York for the summer. Uh, my name is Sterling Bartlett. I'm an illustrator based in Oakland, California. When I was a kid, my pops was in the military, so we moved around all the time. I think because I was moving so much, I couldn't get in social situations with kids maybe that easy. So it was easier for me to just not worry about it and just draw. So every time that like I moved, that was my in. Like it was like, oh sick, that's like, that's the kid that can draw. Like this dude draws Wolverine super good or whatever. Come over there. I used to draw cartoon characters all the time as a kid. You know, Simpsons and Beavis and Butthead and stuff like that. You know, when you're a kid you draw the teacher and then everybody likes you for that. And I went to uh, art school for printmaking and illustration. And then while I was there, uh, I started a t-shirt company. I just realized that art school was the only place where I could draw stupid characters. But then they don't really encourage you, they just criticize you, and I was kind of bummed on that, so I ended up leaving. Basically my work is small to medium-sized graphite illustrations, generally floating in a white field. Going back to like that punk rock ethos of like, or going back even further to when I was a kid, we just didn't have any money. Having paints, having this huge studio just didn't feel right to me. Only the very like bare bones, stripped down, basic work, which was graphite on paper, worked for me. The imagery that I pull from, it's ugly source material. Because I kind of like the idea of each image being a little pictogram, rendered almost not quite photo real. A lot of my work is a really simple image with a line of text under it. The art comes in finding the interplay between the two. I just like Spartan, well-rendered imagery. A lot of my art in the past has kind of been you know, music-related, really dark, occult and death vibe, but then once I moved to California and started hanging around Venice and Mexican neighborhoods that I live in, I kind of picked up all the stuff going on there, like Tattoo Flash, a lot of weird like surf and skate culture that I've always been inspired by. Cartoons from the 70s, skate graphics from the 80s and 90s. The majority of my stuff starts out as a piece and then I'll put it on a t-shirt, I'll make prints of it, and if I'm not laughing while I'm making it or having a good time or getting like really frustrated with it, then I'll just scrap it all together. So I think I'll just like work off an idea and then keep developing it until I'm laughing hysterically and like texting photos to friends and hearing their response. Walk away, come back to it, walk away, come back to it. So over time, I just keep adding layers and layers. And I've always kind of worn raw denim. So I feel like that gets broken in over time and it's creating its own piece of work. It's still kind of dark. It's just got like a dark sense of humor to it. I'll have an idea and then start working on it and in some way it'll relate to what's happening now, but then has like a timeless appeal to it. Um, you know, there's a lot of artists that I really admire and look up to and inspire me a lot, but I think my work is taking it to another level. It's like a more humorous level. I'm not really trying to like say anything. It just kind of happens by accident. So I came up with the concept which was doing kind of like a simulated Venice Beach and it was this weird like timeless land. I asked Sterling to be a part of it as well because we have the same kind of vibe, work off the same type of stuff but it's completely different styles. In denim they have like this term, in Japan they have this term called wabi-sabi which 
means imperfectly perfect. That specific ideal of having really gnarly dark shit presented to you with a smile on its face is definitely what I try to get across.